welcome to weekly vlog numero dos. So it's Thursday today and I've got the day off work. Um, my weekend is basically a Thursday and a Saturday because I always have to work a Sunday. So if I want to have like two days off like everyone else, I need to take a day off during the week. And it just so happens to be a Thursday at the moment. So me and Scott are going out on a little day trip. Um, which I am really really looking forward to actually. It's something that I've never really done before so it's gonna be quite fun I think. So basically we're heading off to Bala Lake, I think that's what it's called. Um, it's in North Wales and we're borrowing Scott's mum and dad's kayak and paddle board and we're just gonna have a bit of a water sports day at the lake. Scott's just out at the moment putting the kayak on the roof of the car and stuff just making sure that it's all secure and I'm just in the process of getting ready at the moment so I thought I would start the vlog here. I'm just kind of trying to sort out all of my outfits because Scott's told me that I need something warm in case it's cold. I need to take like shorts in case it's warm. I need to take clean clothes for the drive home because I'm probably going to get wet. He told me to park a bikini as well in case I want to go swimming but it's been quite a bit colder this past week so I think the chances of me getting in and having a swim are pretty slim. The only way that I'll actually be getting in the water is if we capsize which hopefully won't happen. So yeah that's the plan for today like I said I'm really really looking forward to it and I hope that you enjoy coming along with us. Look at the car. <laughs> it looks massive the kayak to be fair doesn't it? Yeah it is. It's actually quite funny because um, when Scott first got this car I say to him that like he looked like you know like American films when the dad takes the kids on a camping trip to the lake I was like oh that's what you look like driving that car and now we're actually going on a trip to the lake in Let's the car. Away, guys we got the we got the fishing rods up front you know we got the oars we got everything you need come on <laughs> so we're all set we've got the oars in there kayak pointing off the front of the road Come on kids, let's go to the lake. So we've just stopped off at Tim Hortons to get some breakfast for the way. Um, it's quite new isn't it? It only opened like, what, a couple of months ago? But it's really, really good. And um, we've had quite a few things now and we've enjoyed like everything that we've had. For breakfast, we've both gone, I don't know if you can see it in there, but we've both gone for the big breakfast wrap. So you get sausage, bacon, egg, cheese, a hash brown, and I've gone for tomato sauce, Scott's gone for brown sauce. And then you get a hash brown on the side as well and a drink. I've got a white hot chocolate. I got that the last time and it was so, so nice. It just tasted like Milky Bar. And it's quite cheap. It's not that expensive. How much was the two breakfasts? It's like three pounds. Three pound ninety eight. For two wraps, two hash browns and two drinks. Like that's really not that bad. So yeah, that's what it looks like inside. There is bacon in there as well, but you can't really see that just now. I spy with my little eye something beginning with E. So beginning with E? Yeah. massive isn't it huge 3.7 miles long so um yeah we're just gonna get it sorted i think it's gonna be fun getting this kayak <laughs> off the roof isn't it <laughs> yeah especially with your muscles i'm like stronger than you i not <laughs> you? legs maybe we've got it all off and ready to go got my life jacket on because safety first and um, apparently you need to get a permit to kayak on the lake so Scott's just away sorting that out now um, I've decided to wait in the car because it's a little bit chilly 
but yeah i'm looking forward to it i'm just kind of a bit nervous for actually getting into the kayak because like, it's quite busy so i feel like everyone's gonna be watching me get in and yeah i mean i'm sure it'll be fine and so when we're on the kayak we're gonna film on the gopro so if the like quality changes or the sound changes then that's why that's because we're switching cameras i just don't want to risk getting this one wet so yeah i guess we'll see you out there oh, it is freezing i think there's water coming in hey? there's water coming in wow we're going so fast <laughs> so we've just stopped off at this like little beachy bit and we've actually come so far so like I don't know if you can see how not, how well you can see on the camera but like this is where we came from over here and we went all the way up the middle and then came across here but my bum is so so wet like water comes into the bottom of the kayak and my bum is soaked but I'm having fun are you? Yeah love it Look at this big house on the side of the lake. Imagine living in there. It's like um, that house in Chico by the Dozen, isn't it? Chico by the Dozen too, yeah. when they go to the lake. Yeah, it's like on the side. That's what I feel like right now. I feel like I'm in Chico by the Dozen too, without the 12 kids. <laughs> Deep inside at the end of the world. Don't soak me. Who do you think you are? Mr. Big Shot. Uh, playing up for the vlog. <laughs> then what are you doing? Why are you like standing outside the kayak? Is it cold? Yeah, it's alright now. Sitting up? Gonna watch you getting in now. Please. Take it ah! So we're all back safely on dry land. Um, it got to the stage where we were like absolutely freezing, didn't it? Because we were soaked, like completely soaked. But the water itself was actually quite warm. Mm. But it was just like really, really windy out there. So like when you're wet and the wind's hitting you, it's just, oh, I was so glad to get changed. So you're all changed into like nice cozy clothes for the way home. And I cannot wait to get that heated seat on and warm my bum up because it's literally just been soaked for the past like, what, two hours? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's us all done. Um, we were gonna take the paddle board out for a little bit as well, but we were just too wet and cold. So maybe next time we'll do that. We'll stick with just the kayak today, I think. We're just gonna head off now back to Chester. And now what do you wanna do this afternoon? Well, I mean, what time is it now? It's half one. So we're gonna get there for, get home for like, well, it says quarter to three. What do you wanna do Chill. later? Chill. Have a nice chilled night. Oh, I am so tired. To be fair, like we weren't even kayaking for that long, but it's just like really taken out on me. I feel so, so tired and I am ready for bed, even though it's only like four o'clock. But Scott has persuaded me into having a Nando's for tea. So we're gonna head out. We're gonna go to Cheshire Oaks. I have a bit of an early tea. And I think we're gonna get a little dolce afterwards, which is exactly what I need right now. I'm pretty hungry to be fair. I've not had anything to eat since that Tim Hortons breakfast this morning. Morning. so I am ready for some chicken and some cookie dough. Two two chicken Nando. So absolute nightmare. Nando's have run out of wraps and the only thing I ever get from Nando's is a wrap. So I'm a bit stuck for what to choose. Um, I'm 
thinking about just getting a pitta. Um, I've never had one of the pittas before, so I don't know what it's going to be like. Um, but I think I might try that and just kind of hope for the best. I can't believe they've run out of wraps, so that is so annoying. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to get the pitta. And what are you getting? The Sunset Burger? Yeah, Sunset Burger. See, I would get that, but I'm not really a fan of chicken thighs. So yeah, we'll go for the pitta, I think, and see how that is. Fanta! Come out for food and your boyfriend just sits on his phone and completely ignores you the whole time. No. You are. No. Love that. So we've got the pita and um, it does look quite nice here. It's just got like coleslaw in it and I added some halloumi, curry chips and spicy rice and then Scott's got his sunset burger. Yes. Bold statement but I actually think the Nando's pita is better than the Nando's wrap. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. I think I might have found my new Nando's order, to be fair. Did you enjoy yours? Yeah, it was nice. So, so good. So, we're just gonna have a little bit of a walk now. Um, work that off a little bit, because we're both really full, and then we're gonna have some dessert. Come to Dolce. I've got a ham sponge and custard, and you've got strawberry cheesecake. I'm looking forward to this. So I normally go for the cookie dough, um, but I decided to have a bit of a change today. I've, I've had this before and it's really nice, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. I am absolutely stuffed now. What about you? Full. Full to the brim. I always find it mad in there because it feels like really fancy hand fine tanks. It's like really like posh and like fancy inside, but then it's not. Do you know what I mean? That was really nice. It's so full now. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna head home now, aren't we? Need to get my brother a birthday card because it's his birthday today, and I'm a good brother and forgot to do it. Happy birthday, Jamie! Happy birthday, Jamie! <laughs> That's that is what we're gonna do now. So it's a couple of days later now. It is now Sunday. I think the last clip that you saw was Thursday. We went kayaking and went out for food and stuff. Yeah, like I said, it is now Sunday. Um, on Friday, I was just kind of working the whole day, so there was nothing really interesting to film. And then yesterday, I did attempt to vlog, but we went to the Trafford Centre, but it was just so, so busy, and you just could hardly even move, so I just decided to give up. So here we are on Sunday. As you can probably tell, I'm in work. Um, I always work a Sunday morning, and this is my second last shift at Pure Gym which feels so so strange. I've literally been on this Sunday morning shift for like nearly two years now I think and it's just kind of weird to think that this is the last one and um, someone else is finally gonna have to take a turn working a Sunday morning. But yeah I just kind of thought I would bring you along. I've got a circuits class at quarter past ten that I'm just in the middle of planning out now. Scott is coming along to this one so I'm gonna make it extra hard <laughs> just to really put him through his paces. We've been eating out a lot and eating a lot of takeaways and stuff since he's come back so I'm gonna make sure he gets a good workout in this morning. So I'm just in the middle of planning that and I'm trying to sort a playlist for that. So far I've got battle ropes, ski erg, walking lunges, box jump burpees, ball slams, wall balls, snatches and kettlebell swings. So I'm going to need to add a few more into that. Um, I'll probably do like some easier ones in there as well so that it's not like too full on. Yeah, so I'm going to work through this now, sort my playlist out and then we'll set it up. Yeah, me sit down to the girl, my life be like yo. Never look in a year, the book, I'll take the kind of year for you. The fishing in an under, so can store up by my side, oh, why? Set the two up for the four, me or the for the baby. But I'm here, you're this, you're this. Don't be your bother, and it was. Men do effect of only. But they are legged. So that's the last circuits class done. Um, I'm kind of sad because I do really, really enjoy the Sunday morning circuits. Scott like pretty much died. He said he thought he was going to be sick halfway through. He was so red and sweaty, which made me laugh. Um, but it's so cute because there's a little group that come, like four of them, every single Sunday. And they've literally been to the, the classes like since I've started. And um, they got me a little box of chocolates and a good luck card because I'm leaving. How cute is that? So yeah, it was such a fun class and um, I've got another class starting in 10 minutes. So I'm going to get ready for that and then I'm pretty much like finished work after that. So did you enjoy the circuits class? Loved it. Thank you. Did you find it hard? Oh, it was very hard, yeah. You said you were nearly sick. Almost at one point. You were very red afterwards as well. Oh. <laughs> what one was the hardest would you say? The battle ropes. The battle ropes. 
they are a killer to be fair. Yeah, my arms were like, quite they were going to go on fire. <laughs> you did well though. Thank you very well much. Done. So we've just been to Tesco now to get the stuff for the video that we're filming this afternoon. Um, and so we're just going to go back, I'm going to pop a bit of makeup on and we're going to film this video. It's such a nice day today as well. So we're going to try and get it done sort of like quickly so we can go out and enjoy the sun as well. So video is all filmed. That one will be up before this one. So if you've not watched it, you can go over and give it a watch. It's like what, three o'clock now? 22 past three. 22 minutes past three and we've come out for a little walk in the sun. I think we're gonna go down by the river and stuff and you're gonna get an ice cream. So we've stopped off and had our ice creams. I got a strawberries and cream and you got honey pot. The ice cream is so so nice there and as you can probably hear we've decided to come out on a little motorboat on the river. Captain's got over there. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of having a little sail along the river. I think we've got it for half an hour. Yeah, about So we're going to do 15 minutes up, 15 minutes down. And yeah, it's such a nice sunny day. It's really, really warm as well. It's a yeah. lot warmer than what I expected. Um, I feel like I'm on the outer banks in this little boat. That's what it's like. They all like, drive around in little boats. That's what I feel like. But yeah, it's really, really nice. Like, look at some of these houses. Absolutely massive. How much are these houses? Like a million pounds, some of them. More than that, and the, the red one uh, is actually it's actually one of the oldest houses in Chester. Wow. And it was built for an architect. All these gardens are like really cool as well. Imagine having like the river at the bottom of your garden and just kind of being able to like come down and like swim in that in the summer. That would be so cool. So. Captain Lisa is now driving the boat, as you can see. She's absolutely loving it. I've never driven a boat before. I've just got to be careful not to drop the camera in the water. No. Yeah, she's doing a very good job, aren't you? Yeah, very good. Imagine living in one of those. They are so nice. back home now just walking along by the race course we're gonna be here on Saturday winning lots of money we are heading home now we're gonna make some tea I'm making melt in the middle burgers for tea tonight and I'm actually really looking forward to them I feel like burgers are the perfect thing to have in this weather isn't it yeah just a pity we won't have a barbecue but such a lovely evening isn't it ignored yeah would you still love me if I walked like this? Don't speak like that. <laughs> Would you? Uh, yeah. Would you? Love you if you look like an octopus. <laughs> so we've got the burgers cooking away there and they smell so, so good. So they're melt in the middle burgers. They've got like cheese in the middle so that when you bite into it, the cheese like all melts. They are so, so nice. These are actually a recipe from my client recipe pack that my online coaching clients get. So like they're pretty like low calorie and everything. Um, so yeah, I am really, really excited for these. We've got the little bun set up. Scott's gone for Pyrenees on his. I've got some garlic mayo on mine and I think I'm gonna add some chili jam as well. Doing the finishing touches, a little bit of chili jam. Oh, a bit much. Oh, look at that. Lovely bit of melted cheese in the middle. Yum. So I've had a shower and I'm all cosy in my pyjamas, ready to settle down for the night. And I've decided to do a Sunday night face mask. I've got two different kinds here, I'm not sure which one to go for. So that's a coconut water hydrating mask. And then this is a deep cleanse bubbling mask. I think I might go for the bubbling one, that sounds interesting. Does anyone else think that face masks like really aren't that relaxing? I feel like they're made for like sort of like pamper nights and that aren't they? But I just, I'm not really a fan. I'm just doing this because I've got them to use. Oh my God, it's black. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be white. Oh, the feel of it is just like so slimy. 
I asked Scott if he wanted to do one, but he said no, so. Oh, it's so slimy. Where's the nose bit? I just feel like so suffocated when I have these on. I just hate having stuff like stuck to my face. This nose bit is just not, where's like, there we go. I'm just gonna have quite a chilled night tonight. Um, the burgers were really, really good. I think we're gonna watch this 9-11 documentary on Netflix. We started watching it last night and it was quite interesting to be fair. It was really, really sad, but quite interesting. Oh, it started to bubble now. Uh, so yeah, I think we're just going to watch an, uh, another episode of that. I think there's like five episodes on Netflix. So I think we're going to do that tonight. Um, I'm not really watching much at the moment. Actually, that's a lie. I started watching the Gossip Girl reboot the other night. Scott went out and I was looking for something to watch. So I thought I would give it a go because I absolutely love the original Gossip Girl. Um, it's on BBC iPlayer for anyone that's interested, but it was really, really good to be fair. I was kind of expecting it to be not up to match because I think like the original one is so, so good that if you try and sort of remake it, it's just not going to be anywhere near as good. But it seemed to be quite good. I only watched two episodes. I think there's like six out at the moment or something. It's quite similar to the, to the original, but the teachers are Gossip Girl. So yeah, it's quite interesting. Seems like there's gonna be quite a lot of drama. So I would definitely recommend giving that a watch if you're into Gossip Girl. This looks so weird, doesn't it? It's like proper bubbling. I've got quite a busy day tomorrow, actually. Um, I've got a few clients PT clients in the gym, I need to do my check-ins for my online clients, I've got my second Covid vaccine in the middle of all that. So yeah, it's going to be quite a busy day tomorrow, so I think quite an early night. You get the limo well, friend. 